Uh, the Lions have had seven turnovers in the last four games. I mean, they're three and one, but you keep turning the ball over like this. That's what feels. Uh, that's what feels so tough about this stretch that they're in right now. They're simply not protecting the football, and it's and it's gonna bite them here. Is it, it not? Is the biggest indicator of winning and losing in football period i mean if you want to look at most games look at the turnover percentage uh the whoever takes the the turnover giveaway ratio and wins that you look at the stats if you're plus one you have x percentage chance of winning plus two goes up exponentially plus three you're almost never going to lose and when you're giving the ball away multiple times and you're not taking the ball away which is also something that you have to look at with the Lions right now. You put yourself in a tough position. Now, you're right. They have won three out of four. But you can say they were somewhat fortunate to beat the Chargers when the Chargers scored five touchdowns on their final five possessions. They were somewhat fortunate to come from 12 down in the final four minutes and 15 seconds to beat the Bears. And then it caught up with them against the Packers. So here's the thing. If you're the Lions, what you're trying to get back to is something you know you can do because you've done it. You're not asking them to do something that they haven't done before. They have to get back to playing clean football and, and, and knock this off where you're giving the other team extra possessions. We can get to defense and all those yeah. things, but at its core, you're right. It's about giving the ball away, which is taking your possession away and giving the other team extra possession. Uh, D Mills, you know, talking about the Detroit Lions here. You know, we asked you the question. Well, I asked the question last week. The Chicago win. I said, did it bother you that it was that close? Are you happy it was a divisional win? They got in the way, figured it in the end. They lose to the Green Bay Packers. Is this game against the Saints in the Saints in the Big Easy? Is this a must-win game for the Detroit Lions considering the last two games? Or am I stepping a little too far by asking that question? Yeah, I don't know if it's a must win because you still got it. You're going in with a two and a half game lead uh, and you're three up in the loss column. So I think must would be a lot. But but Braylon, it's a big game. Yeah. Can we say that must is up here? Big is here. If we okay. can do that. I like that. Um, you don't want to be going to Chicago on a two game losing streak because that's going to be a tough game against the Bears. They're playing better. OK, they got a quarterback that is, that is still struggling. That defense is playing better. They're going to be a tough game in Soldier Field. So you got to nip this thing in the bud as fast as you can. They haven't lost two games in a row in 21 games. You got to go back to October 30th of last year to find the last time the Lions lost two in a row. That's the kind of resolve you need to have in this game. The ability to bounce back, the ability, the ability to be resilient, and, and that's what I'm looking for. So look, if they come out of this thing losing, you're not going to feel great, but you're also not going to look up and figure, oh my gosh, one week in Minnesota could be right back there. You've built yourself a little bit of a cushion, but you can't let this thing snowball.